Today I'll be taking a look at this, the Portable Painter, which is a traveling watercolor palette. Okay, so this is the Portable Painter. It is a travel uh, watercolor palette. And it's something that I thought would be interesting to look at because it's, it's different than most travel palettes that I've encountered or, or I've used. This one in particular was a, a crowd-funded um, project that uh, puts some new twists on the way that uh, these portable palettes work. And I know there are quite a few reviews for this product out there, uh, but I thought it might be uh, worth looking at uh, myself. And I know that when I look at other reviews, I, I tend to, um, like, like, I guess if I see a lot of reviews on a single product, I usually come away with a little bit of a different take and maybe something new from each review. So I thought it'd be worth reviewing, um, even though it's been out for a couple of years, maybe a year or so. Uh, anyway, this is the Portable Painter. Uh, one of the things I've been really, that I was impressed with initially with this was the packaging and just the high degree of professionalism that has gone into this product. Uh, as you can see, it's got a very nice uh, box. It's not your, you know, it's not just a plain cardboard box. It's, it's full of graphics and photography. See the Portable Painter on the front, a little... Uh, kind of illustrates that it's about the size of a cell phone. Uh, it shows that uh, it comes with a double-ended travel brush. And the back of the package kind of shows uh, the way that uh, this palette can be used. If you see here somebody's painting and they have it uh, sitting on their knee while they paint. Uh, it shows that it comes with the 12 half pans. So let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. Okay, inside, it comes like this, all assembled and put together. You get a nice instruction sheet that shows how to use the portable painter. Now this is the way it works. It has a metal clip on the front that actually has the Portable Painter logo imprinted on there. That was a nice touch. Inside there are two water reservoirs, which is really nice because in most of these travel palettes that include water reservoirs, they're not usually this large uh, and don't uh, hold as much water. They're usually very shallow and, and, and don't hold much at all. So you have one for the right, you have another reservoir for the left. And the way this works, oh, I should point out, even the palette has uh, port, the Portable Painter logo embossed on here. Everything uh, from top to bottom on this product is just top notch. So you open it up like this, and inside, <laughs> by the way, you get half pans with this, and they're a little bit loose initially. And I'll talk about that in a minute. I'll put them off to the side here. So this is the portable palette. And the way it works is these reservoir cups slide onto the sides very easily. And what it does is it creates this platform, this very sturdy platform. So you can use this on a table like this and be dipping uh, for water here and paint here or as it showed on the back of the box you can rest it on your leg um, which works pretty well actually this also comes with a little uh, travel brush that's actually two-ended it's it's pretty small like this it's like maybe a number three round on one end 
So then you pull out the other end and it attaches to the back like so. So essentially what you end up with is a double ended brush. Um, and the other end is a very tiny, like number two ram, something like that. Um, I don't use the brush that comes with it. I don't tend to work that small or detailed. Um, and if I do, I usually use a larger brush with a, with a finer, um, with a fine point on it. So I love that they included this, but it's not something that I uh, personally use. So I'll put that to the side. This comes with half pans that you can fill. And these kind of fit in here fairly loosely. Um, but as you use the paint, paint will seep down around the edges of the, uh, the half pan and secure them in place. So it's not really much of an issue. What I've done, and I will show you on um, a different uh, palette here. This is the palette that I actually have been using. I, I bought two of these uh, when they came out because it was a, a crowdfunded thing and I wasn't sure how long they would be in production. As it turns out, it looks like things are going really well for, for them and I've even seen these available for sale on amazon.com. So again, the clip just slides off. The two halves come out. The two water reservoirs come out. Opens up like this. And my palette is fairly limited in terms of uh, the colors that I use. And I don't, I don't change my colors very often uh, like uh, some artists do. So I personally didn't need to be switching in and out with the half pans. I didn't need to be, um, I didn't need to have that ability to switch out colors a lot. And some of you may. So the half pans uh, that come with the set are a great way to do that. For me, I just filled the empty um, paint wells with my paint and just continue to add paint to those since I'm not changing colors out much. So anyway, one of the things that I do wish was different about this, and it's probably about the only thing, is that I wish, if you can see here, there are lots of uh, paint mixing areas on one side, and on this side, there's just three. I would have preferred to, and at least for the way I work, I would prefer to have this side be the same as the three uh, paint mixing area side which would give about six, you know, would give six areas for mixing color. This gets to be a little too fiddly, a little too, um, I don't know. I just don't use that many colors when I paint. Uh, I don't need that many mixing areas and these mixing areas, since the palette is small, get a little tiny and a little cumbersome. So I would prefer that there were just six wells, but that's pretty nitpicky. Uh, if you're not storing a brush in here, I suppose you could use that. Um, for a pencil, you could mix a little paint in there if you wanted to. Um, either way. Uh, anyway, the plastic and everything on this uh, palette is very nice quality. The plastic uh, here is not brittle like you might find in some plastic palettes. It's, it's very, uh, I, I want to say like Rubbermaid-like in the way that it, it feels like it would bend quite a bit before it would break. It's very sturdy plastic. The plastic that's used on these is very sturdy uh, and not brittle. So one of the things that I, I love that this can sit on a knee. I love that, you know, it hooks in like this if you need it to. A lot of times though, I like to have a palette that I can hold, that I can, um, that I can get to easily. Uh, when I'm working and it's it's not off to the side, I like to have it, you know, kind of almost on top of the painting while I work. So that works for this, but what do you do about these cups? They're a little bit um, thin, and I, I was a little afraid that I might knock them over, you know, when I was swishing. So the solution that I came up with, and it's nice that it has these little uh, lips here that, uh, that help it connect when you're putting it back together. I use, uh, again, these come in handy quite a bit, my wife's hair ties. 
It's just a black elastic hair tie. And I put it over both of the wells. And that way, when I fill these up, it's got a nice sturdy base to it. And I don't have to worry about knocking this stuff over. You know, and if you were really concerned about having a place to keep this, and I've heard that a lot, you can also use a band to kind of keep that in place so you don't lose it. So anyway, I like to use it like this a lot of times, but it works great in, in any configuration. So I guess in summation, I would say that this is an excellent product. This is something that I've used quite a bit and will continue to use quite a bit. There are a couple little nitpicks um, like the wells here. And it would be great if there was some way to attach these together uh, out of the box. Uh, but that may be asking a bit too much for what this is intended to be. So this is a great uh, palette, a great travel palette. I am hoping to show you um, quite a few travel palettes that I have kind of gone through and looked at uh, for working and kind of show you that some of the ones I've settled on. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, ramble on, on the portable painter, and I highly recommend it. Have a good one, you guys.